Hello everyone. Today I'll try to make a Tetris AI that's hopefully better than this. For this project, I will not give the AI knowledge of the next piece. It's already been proven that next piece knowledge is a huge advantage for a computer, and I wanted a challenge. For simplicity, I didn't implement T-spins or complex moves. If you want to see those, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do another episode. I'll be building off of a simple JavaScript Tetris game that was apparently made by a 7 year old. If that's true, I'm impressed. To start, I need to choose some parameters that will let my AI decide what the best move is. But how do I do that? Let's look at some examples to find out. As a human player, I bet the number one thing you avoid is creating holes. So the first parameter to decide if a move is good should be hole count. The second thing to avoid is bumpiness. If you have an uneven surface like this, placing some pieces could cause issues. We calculate this by getting the total change in height between adjacent columns. The last thing to consider is line clearing. You should be concerned with clearing lines to make sure you don't lose the game. I made this parameter a linear function based on the tallest height of your structure, because I expected clearing lines to be less important if your structure is short, and more important if you are close to the top. So now what? I could assume that all of these parameters are equally important, and just have a mediocre Tetris bot, or I could try to decide for myself how important each parameter is relative to the others. But these solutions are not AI. Instead, we should let the computer optimize the relationship between these parameters for us. I'll be using a genetic algorithm to do this. To decide how important these parameters are, each individual in the population of my genetic algorithm will have a set of weights, or genes, that make this decision. A high weight means that a parameter is very important. For example, if hole weight is very high, the AI will avoid creating holes at all costs. Here's what the simplified implementation looks like. I should decide how good a move is by giving it a score. Here are my parameters that result from the move. Hole count, bumpiness, and lines cleared. Hole count should be multiplied by the hole weight, bumpiness should be multiplied by the bumpiness weight, and you get the point. Hole count and bumpiness should be negative because they are bad, but lines cleared stays positive because it is good. As you can see, if one of the weights is very high, it will influence the score greatly. The AI should calculate the score for every single position and rotation. Then, it chooses the best scoring move. Here's a cool visualization of every single possible move, but it gets old fast. I finished coding the decision maker, but I haven't yet optimized it using a genetic algorithm. Here you are looking at a playstyle that I selected myself with a very high hole weight but clearly this is suboptimal because it sometimes prefers losing to creating a new hole. I built a web page where you can edit the weights yourself and see what happens. The link is in the description. To optimize my AI and find the best set of weights, I created a population of 150 individuals with randomly chosen sets of weights. To choose which individual is the most fit, I let each individual play 10 games and total the lines cleared from those 10 games. This test is known as a fitness function. The fittest individual always survives into the next generation, and the more fit individuals have a higher chance of moving on. The weights of some individuals get mutated by a small percentage, and some crossover of weights occurs between two individuals, all with the hopes of creating a more fit individual in the next generation. Let's run it! Here's the most fit individual of the first generation. This individual is already able to clear 750 lines on average per game. By chance, it had a very impressive game on my first run recording it. Within a few generations, individuals were able to clear 1,000 lines per game on average. After that, individuals were never able to surpass an average of 2,000 lines. I ran this for about 25 generations, but it was taking horribly long because of how much time it takes to calculate thousands of lines per game for 150 individuals. I'm pretty new to AI and now realize that I should have used something faster than JavaScript for my genetic algorithm. 25 generations is very low, but it was clear that a small change in genes was not going to cause a breakthrough. 
Since you can watch any generation play on the web page I created, I'll just skip to the final generation. This AI seems to regularly leave lots of holes, but remarkably almost always makes a comeback and goes back to fix them. The parameters I chose work very well, but not perfectly. The algorithm was clearly working, as the average of all individuals in the population climbed from 100 lines to 700 lines per game. But there was just a barrier that none could surpass around 2,000 average lines. This means that the parameters I chose are not good enough to handle really tough situations. I ran the final generation for 100 games, and it ended up with a lower average than expected of only 930 lines cleared. However, its lowest scoring game was only 12 lines, and its best game was 6,103 lines. This suggests that lines cleared could be a bad test of the AI's fitness, since it can vary so much for an individual. Maybe I should have had a set order of pieces that each individual is tested with, rather than random pieces, to see how each individual reacts to a specific situation. I urge you to look at the webpage I created and see how changing the weights affects the AI. You can look at the source code and even try to edit the parameters on GitHub. If you want me to continue my journey towards the perfect Tetris AI, please let me know in the comments. If you want to contribute or keep track of the progress of my projects, join my Discord channel, link in the description.